Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use the Puppet Warp feature in Photoshop CS5. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and today's image is that of a giraffe and so the first thing you need to do in order to use the Puppet Warp feature is to get your subject that you're going to be warping around and put it onto its own transparent layer. So I've already done this so that to uh, save time so you can see if I turn off the bottom layer you can see that I've already selected out the giraffe I just use the um, quick select tool over here and paint it around the giraffe but to save time um, I've already done that so once you have that done uh, the next step is to basically take and remove your subject from its original um, image so basically we're going to be taking the giraffe and um, replacing the background behind it with um, what should be behind it so in order to do that we're just going to go on to our new layer which has the transparent background hold control click on the image and so then it'll take and select all the pixels that are on that layer so then we're going to go down and click on to the image that we're going to or the layer that we want to remove the background from then we're going to go to select modify expand and then expand by 20 pixels because we're going to be using content aware and it helps if you expand out from what you're actually filling in so once you have it about 20 pixels depending on the size of your image um, once you have that selection then you're going to go up to edit and then down to fill and it'll bring up a box and you want to go to content aware under use click OK and Photoshop will go through that and figure out what's supposed to be behind there alright so now if we take and turn off our giraffe layer you can see that Photoshop has taken and decided what's supposed to be behind there and it's done a pretty good job um, you might need to touch it up a little bit but I think we're just gonna go with what it has already done so now we have the giraffe on its own layer and we have the background on its own layer. So now we can actually start um, using the puppet warp. So the way that you can get to that is by first clicking on the layer that you want to warp and then go up to edit and then down to puppet warp. Alright, so what Puppet Warp is going to do is most likely it will look like that when you first turn it on. Um, you have some options up here. You have different modes. Um, you have density, which you can set it to fewer points where you can see now there's less of a mesh on there. Normal, which is what we'll be using, and then more points, which is crazy. So we're just going to go to normal. And then you can set the expansion um, depending on if you want it to go off of the actual image. Um, more or less, you can adjust that and then I'll show you pin depth um, in a little bit so you can toggle on the show mesh um, depending on if you want it or not I'm just gonna leave it off so basically what you do in puppet warp is you can take and put points onto your image and you can see that I'm adding these they look like little pins I guess basically what these do is they can both move parts of your image and anchor them so they do the same thing there's no really toggle so basically you just need to put them at points where you would have things either you want to stay there or you want to be pivoting around so I'm just gonna add some around the body and on the legs and if you add one in a place that you don't want you just hold alt and you can see that you have a little scissor icon and you just click and it'll take it away so now I have these pretty much established on the legs and then maybe I'll just take and put one on its neck here and we'll put one maybe up on its head um, so now what you can do is basically take and move things around so we can just take and grab on this and you can see that we can just take and move the giraffe's head around however we want so we can just take and I'm just gonna remove this one for now and we can actually just take and bring bring the giraffe's head down here maybe put one up here so we can bring its neck down and then we can take and put one on its head and if you hold alt and if you're not over it I showed you before if you hold alt you can delete them but if you move out from the center a little bit you get a rotate button and so you can actually just take and rotate around um, parts of the image so you can just take and move these pins as you like maybe delete them add them and you can tweak it around so you can actually take and move different parts of your image and so it's really pretty cool you can actually take and let's say that we want our giraffe to be I don't know answering the phone or something you could you would have to play around with it a little bit to get it to look right but you can see here um, let's say that we wanted his foot um, it's bending in a weird angle here but let's say that we wanted it to go um, on the other side of his neck what you would do um, I showed you that we had pin depth up here basically what you can do is just 
click the up arrow with the pin depth and it'll take and bring it to um, the top so that it comes over the image so that you can actually have it um, in front of something else. So there we go. He's He's got a phone call. All right. Um, so you can see that you would need some more tweaking in order to get this to look right. Obviously, it's not bending in the right spot there. Um, but you can make some pretty silly pictures, but it's definitely um, helpful for a lot of practical applications. Um, if people are taking um, pictures and you need to uh, retouch it and they're in an awkward position or they're in an awkward pose or they've got their arm somewhere that it shouldn't be, um, this can really help to take and move it to how it should be. Um, in a reasonable fashion. In other versions of Photoshop this would be a really painful thing to do. Um, it would take a lot of editing but here you just get it on its own layer and it's pretty easy to move around. So just um, try and make small movements because uh, with people um, and animals you can see that if you distort something it's pretty obvious. Um, but it can definitely be a helpful tool. Um, so I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment and I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.